Hi friends, Miss Axe here. Today I'm going to read you a story called Actual Size, and it's written and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. And this story is really cool because it shows you the actual sizes of the things that it mentions in the book. So here we go. The Atlas moth is so large that it is often mistaken for a bird. Its wingspan is 12 inches. So if you take out a ruler, the length or how long that ruler is, is the size of this moth from one side of its wings to the other. Did you ever look a giant squid in the eye? Have you ever shaken hands with a gorilla or been face to face with a tiger? All of the animals in this book are shown at actual size so you can see how you measure up to creatures both large and small. A dwarf goby is the smallest of all fish. It's only one third of an inch. Look how tiny that dwarf goby fish is. Super tiny. A giant squid lives deep in the ocean where its enormous eyes help it see in the dim light. The body and tentacles of the giant squid are up to 59 feet long and its eyes are 12 inches across. So again, that ruler, if you take out a ruler and you measure from one side of its eye to the other, that's how big its eye is across. So this is a giant squid eye. That's so big. The Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat eating animal that lives on land. Its height is 13 feet. So one ruler is 12 inches or one foot. So if you stacked 13 rulers on top of each other, that's how tall it would be. And it weighs 1,700 pounds. So this is how big an Alaskan brown bear's head is. Holy guacamole. Here's the largest bird, an ostrich with its egg. Its height is up to nine feet and weighs 340 pounds. A two foot long tongue. This must be a giant anteater snacking on its favorite food, termites. Its body and tail is seven feet long and it weighs 85 pounds. Two feet long tongue. That's a really big tongue. That's two rulers long. If you don't like spiders, you're not going to like this next picture. The Goliath bird eater tarantula is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals. Its legs are 12 inches across. So one leg is one ruler long. Yikes. See if I can get all this in the picture. Look at that giant thing. The saltwater crocodile, the world's largest reptile, is a man eater. It is 23 feet long. I don't think he really eats men, though. I think crocodiles would prefer to eat other animals. Look at that. The Goliath frog lives in Africa. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and rats. It's 36 inches long with its legs wide extended like this. So if all the way stretched out and it weighs seven pounds. Yikes. This is too close to a great white shark. A great white shark can be 21 feet long, weigh 6,000 pounds, and its teeth can be four inches long. Oh my goodness. I wonder if you took out a ruler, if you could find four inches on the ruler. That's how long its teeth are. The huge gorilla and the pygmy mouse lemur both have hands a lot like ours. They've got five fingers. A gorilla is up to five and a half feet tall. Miss X is only five feet tall, so that gorilla is taller than I am, and 600 pounds. 
the mouse lemur can, is two and a half inches tall and weighs only one ounce. So I'm a small adult. Look how, how big that gorilla's hand is compared to mine. Wow. The Siberian tiger is the biggest of the big cats. It is up to 14 feet long from its nose to its tail and weighs 500 to 700 pounds. Wow. The Goliath beetle is the world's heaviest insect. Its length is six inches, so it's six inches long and weighs three and a half ounces. So that's the Goliath beetle. Huh, I noticed that the word Goliath is coming up a lot in this book. I wonder if they use that word or that name to describe things that are big. The rare giant walking stick is the world's longest insect. Its length is 22 inches. It's a really long insect. So that's the giant walking stick. <clears throat> hmm, I bet you know what this animal is. This foot belongs to the largest land animal, the African elephant. It is up to 13 feet tall and weighs as much as 14,000 pounds. And then the back of the book has all of the animals that it talks about and some facts about them. Thanks for watching me share this book with you. And I hope you enjoyed learning about the actual sizes of all of these animals. And look, at one at the back, at the end says, the giant Gipps Island, Gippsland earthworm lives in Australia and it's 36 inches long. Just one fun trap to say, bye friends, we'll see you next time.